it ended up at about $1,600. But more than that, I think it really it got people to stop and think for a second about what we were doing. It's on toilet paper. So it's on two pieces of Charmin Ultra Fly. The nice thing about the airbrush is you can actually do stuff like this. Painting on toilet paper with a paintbrush would be really difficult, but the airbrush does that really well. So back on March 16th, when all this was really just starting to happen, I decided to start this painting because I, the first thing I noticed was with this whole pandemic going on, people weren't paying attention to what they should be paying attention to. They were buying toilet paper and it didn't make sense to me. So I thought I would do a little social commentating and kind of get people to think a little bit. So tonight what I thought we would do is I would uh, paint this awesome Corona bottle here and I would do that on a sheet of toilet paper. And ended up, uh, we ended up deciding to raffle it off to raise a little bit of money for Doctors Without Borders. Uh, the work that they do is, is amazing, not only with coronavirus, and they give hope to people who medically wouldn't have that. So this is an airbrush. It's basically, it's, it's just a really refined way to spray paint. It's very, very small. So when you have that kind of control over the way that you apply paint, it allows you to do a lot of different things that you can't necessarily do with a paintbrush. It can allow me to paint on different things like razor blades. What I found was the razor blades are great because whatever I painted on a razor blade, everyone knew how small they were. So the process is pretty straightforward for me. I'll get an idea and then I'll go and search out the reference photos. Uh, and then once that happens, then I'll transfer that onto the piece of aluminum using the airbrush and some hand cut stencils. And then from there, it's just back and forth. It's painting back and forth with a paintbrush and an airbrush until it's all done. As an artist, I, I feel our role is to help people understand really what's going on. So it's nice for me to be able to do something to kind of help people through this. 